this thing almost made me roll my ankle. This, just lying there on the ground, stepping on it, and almost ankle gone. We always find it funny uh, when doing parkour, we'd spend a whole day training, doing movements that you know, can potentially hurt, but we'd always be concentrating and we do it properly and nothing ever happened until you'd finish up training and relax. And as soon as you're walking to get food, step off a curb, boom, you do your ankle because you're not concentrating and the ankle just rolls. Now drop foot increases that experience rate exponentially. And it means that I have to be constantly mindful of how my foot is moving, especially on sideways movements. It's also partly why I like to do trail running at the moment because it's a constantly uneven changing terrain that you really have to concentrate on and it helps me build my proprioception for it. And from all the trail running that I have been doing recently, I've been fine. Why? Because I'm concentrating on how my foot is traveling. But as soon as I stop thinking about how my foot is moving and I'm just on flat ground, I can roll it on just stepping on the stone, which I just did. So this, so this week, so this week's training for Hut to Hut, we are in Mornington, going to go to Arthur's Seat. I've never been there. What's the plan? Run up out of the seat, run back down it. That is our destination. Well, no, not that house. That's a building. That is a house. Up there, that's where we're going. Go up, go to the clearing, go right out the back, down the other side of the seat, back up it again, and then back down again. Sounds painful. Yeah. Cool, cool. I said I was here to see you suffer. Yes, this is true. You did. This place has some nice views. Yeah. Only when you're going down there. Because really you're just staring into some steps the whole way up. And if you're slow, you're staring at Richard's butt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're to appreciate the beauty of the This is where we are. Now we're not lost. We're never lost. That's what you said last time. Never lost. Just on an adventure. Just on an adventure, that's it, yeah. Because it's exploring. Yeah. We have reached the summit. We are now here on the map and where we're going, I, I have no idea. Somewhere, somewhere here. I'm just following. I'm just following. So apparently being at the top doesn't give you the best view and now we're going to see the best view, which is backtracking. Correct. Love the play. And this is the Bay Lookout. There's rubbish in there. Come on, people. What is wrong with you? Many things. Are you, you going to go in there and get it? Past those bees? No, thank you. That's true, there are a lot of bees. Balance on the beams. Time to go. Where are we going? We have stopped somewhere to figure out our navigation. This is why our run time is slow on Strava. Wrong way. Oh, yeah, yeah of, course, of course you did, of course you did. That's why we walked like 20 meters this way. Yeah. We seem to have reached a somewhat of a dead end because Further down there is the golf course, and we can't really go through there. Back to the top. So we're going back up. That's where we're going. Back up there. Right. We have another Richard tip today. Yes. Mobilize your feet. Always. Even if you don't run. Just do it. Just do it. The end. That was a quick tip from Richard. It was. Well, most people don't do it, so if you don't know how to mobilize your foot, Google how do I mobilize my foot and then do that for 20 minutes and you'll feel like a new person. You will. It's true. You can use your elbow, you can use a massage ball, you can use the rolling pin. You can use... Uh, you can use your other heel. Golf ball. You can use a golf ball. You can use a tennis ball, cricket ball. You can use a packet of peanuts. Frozen peas? 
frozen piece. Just mobilize your foot, damn it. Do it. Another lookout here, the minister's lookout. Looks pretty. Richard is on his phone though. He doesn't care about the views. Nope. All he needs is the view of his phone. Correct. We're at the bottom. We're finished. That's a good run. Thanks. You're welcome. I've never been there. It's lovely. Hmm. There's also a chairlift to the top if you want. That would have made it easier. Yeah. Bye, Richard. And time for me to go home. Strava has told me that I need to keep it easy for the rest of the week so I'm going to try to do a light, a very light uh, run around Mount Denonong about a 10k distance. We'll see how we go. Try and keep it light. We'll, we'll try. Well, Looks like that track is closed, so I guess we'll go up there. Uh, One Tree Hill Picnic Grounds. Okay, this way is close to a different path. like my GPS is a kind of off in this bush so I'm gonna start my, making my way back up and then start running down eh. it's a bit steep going back up Enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. It is on. See, it's on there. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Richard was doubting my ability to turn on the camera. Well, you didn't forget to bring any SD cards. Shut up. Shut up. We're not talking about that. That never happened. Oh. Do you have proof of that? No. No, there's no proof. There's nothing. Well, there's, that, there's going to be one.